Enter your chance to win a copy of Assassin's Creed Valhalla, your choice, PlayStation or Xbox. All you have to do to win is subscribe and leave a like and a comment on this video. Welcome to Assassin's Creed Valhalla, it's Abyss, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to get the best ending. Okay, so this is going to be Sigurd and Avar's ending. There is five major choices that you need to make throughout the game in order to get the best ending. I'm going to go through each individual one to make sure that you don't miss out. But keep in mind, you can mess up on two of the choices, but if you mess up on three, then you are going to miss out on the best ending. Okay, so the first major choice happens in the main mission called the Seas of Faith during Chapter 5 before you leave Norway. You'll have two choices. We could take the resources to England or we could leave the resources. For this, you need to listen to your brother and leave the resources. This is the first major choice. It's a time of renewal for us. If you object, I understand. Let your father keep Kjotvis riches. England will have riches and cargo enough for us. Good. I did not want this cloud hanging over us. It is a wise leap. Okay, so our second choice happens early in the game. When you talk to Ramvi, instead of looking at the Alliance map, you'll notice that there is a new option that you can ask, are you all right? This will start another main mission called Taken for Granted. At the end of this mission, you're going to have to climb a tower, and this is where you can actually start a romance. But you do not want to start a romance with their too early in the game. You have to wait until after they break up. All right, so for now, you need to pick the choice that says now is not the right time. In the description below, I will post a video with the romance so you can check that out. But for now, don't start a romance with their. It's just feeling further. But that is not possible. Of course. Yes. I was foolish too. Let this be a dream then. A moment that never happened but in our minds. I would not wish you to see me so weak as that. You need feel no shame. This stays between us. And at worst, we have had a beautiful day. As friends and kindred spirits. More than enough for me. I would like to stay here, if it is all the same to you. I would like that. Okay, so our third choice happens in a main mission called Blood from a Stone. In Chapter 2, after the battle, when you're talking to Basim and your brother, do not punch them. Alright, so when you talk to Basim, the first choice you need to pick, take a breath. And then when you talk to your brother, the second choice you need to pick, enough of this. Alright, don't punch them. As long as you don't punch them, you're good to go. Your first oath is to your Jarl, Sigurd Jarl. Your brother and master. That's one view, Basim. I believe there will be other chances. We can keep our oaths and find the stone together. Edwin will flee to her castle. You want your stone? It will be there. Gidrich's pathetic army will never breach the walls. We could have first taken the stone, then laid siege. That was always our plan, Eivor. I had no intention of betraying Giedrich. It was your plan all along. Yet you saw fit to keep me guessing through your fits of madness. You are not always to be trusted. Your passions overcome you. I know that. My father knew that. Your father knew it. Sit here and bemoan your fate. Brother, I have a promise to keep, and I mean to. You think too much of yourself, Eivor. You do not have the wisdom of Odin. Come, Basim. Okay, so our fourth choice happens after you complete the saga in Scent. You're going to have to go back to the settlement and report on it. But you're going to get into a boss fight with Dag. At the end, when you defeat him, you need to give Dag his axe. If you deny it... That'll be a strike. So make sure you pick the option that says give Dag his axe. You should not have come to this, old friend. Take this. 
fly to Odin's Hall. Whatever you sought in this life, you'll find it in the next. <clears throat> Go to your homes. I will lay him to rest. All right, so our final choice happens after you complete the saga in Essex and go back to your settlement to report on it. You're going to have to make a judgment on two guys, but your brother's going to come in and interrupt. He's going to make this absurd judgment. So you're going to have two choices. This judgment is unfair or support the judgment. For this, you need to agree with your brother and support the judgment. So after this choice, I'm going to show you the cutscene where it explains all the different choices that you had to make, and then I will show you the best ending. If you would have had three or more strikes, then your brother would have stayed in Norway, but in order to get the best ending, he needs to come back with you to England. Other than that, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to support the channel, and I will see you next time. Turn words into lies. You weaken the minds of children and delude the minds of men. I've shown you too many years of tolerance. And rather than exist in grateful meekness as Holgate the liar, you sink lower. You become Holgate the thief, robbing a woman of her livelihood, all in the name of your stupid stories. Sigurd, you all know that that is not the- This is the consequence of your actions. You will pay Gudrun the value of 30 Selthoths, Thirty times? Surely your chest? That would ruin me, Sigurd. Do I look like one to play pranks, Holgate? Pay the fee, or be exiled? Great, Jarl. If I may, I seek only compensation for a single sailcloth. The rest 30 is- Thirty times! In silver! That is my judgment. Eivor, please. Does this not seem unfair? Sigurd is our Jarl. His word is law. Whether or not you agree. You see? That man's anger. His rage. It had a familiar sting that I... I cannot place. He was raving, Sigurd. Without sense or reason. Paid no mind. I am not mad, Eivor. These things I see and feel... I know they are true. I know, brother. Now more than ever, you always spoke true. We should cast our eyes towards home. It is a long journey and I am not well. Home. Eivor, on our journey here, I had much time to think. On the ecstasies and the agonies of our friendship, I am not the man I was. My time as the Jarl of our clan has run short. You must lead us now. Do you mean this? Randvi told me of your bravery, your courage, your wisdom. In my absence, you were a pillar of stone. She admires you. And I her. But that cannot be the only reason. When Dar called you out and challenged you to a duel, you let him die with honor, in spite of his betrayal. He did what he felt was right, and I honored that. I recall our days in Oxenefortshire, our search for the Sacker Stone. You disagreed with my orders, but you followed them. You questioned my methods, my aims, but you did not disobey. And when I passed judgment on Holger, you let my sentence lie. Though I knew you disagreed, the look on your face said all. And I remember and admire the way you guided us from Norway to England. You kept my anger in check, my ambitions focused. It was a trying time. In all my days away, in my fog of confusion, you have shown great wisdom and strength and leadership where you go, Eivor, I will follow. Our clan is yours to lead. Thank you, brother. I... I won't let you down.
You have a stormy look. Years ago, before we left for England, I saw a vision. A vision that foretold a betrayal. That I would betray you. I refused to believe it. I would never do such a thing, I told myself. But in the years since, I have robbed you of your dreams. Of England, of Valhalla. If you feel I have wronged you, brother, I will make it right. We cannot unweave our fates, Eivor. All is laid before us, from the day we are born. To be angry at this would be like... Like wrestling the ocean. A pointless struggle. We two ragged ravens. What a saga we have inscribed together. A tale for the ages. Steady, Eivor. Secret. Tovi. Welcome home. Missed a great feast, it seems. Eivor! Sit a moment and rest. Sigurd. For me. Gift of the gods, you are back. Safe and standing tall. Did you... Did you find what you were looking for? We did. We did. But it was not for us. What is this? I... Um... returned inside of the hearth come your secret is no longer safe Eivor Ranvi what is this is everything all right our Jarl has returned to lead us forward into an uncertain future will you speak to your people For love and joy, words can jade. Our souls must sound in a heartful song. And when... No. You are less mine than I am yours. And I ask of you only this. Keep me honest in the times to come. Hearken well in Hall of Kings. 
On ocean steed my words gain wings. Odin's mead I form will bring. For noble deeds thine honor sing. We reach and blaze our trail of red till Odin gaze upon the dead. For those who fight and those who fall, may horns resound the mighty hall. For we who fight, for we who fall.